Hello YouTube. This is not Friday. What the hell? Let's go. <laughs> Hello Tubes. How are you doing on this beautiful Tuesday? It's snowing outside and I'm doing great and hopefully so are you. These four days since our last video have been so action-packed that we just couldn't miss the opportunity to show all the great stuff that's happened. To start off, I'd like to talk about movies, and oh my god, there have been so many big announcements this weekend. First, we had Entertainment Weekly posting a short interview with James Cameron asking him about the second installment of Avatar, and we finally got an approximate release date, which is 2017. Naturally, the other two sequels will be released consecutively over the next years. Next up, we have X-Men. A destructive trailer to say the least, which is a sequel for the previously released prequel, Days of the Past. This one shows Egyptians' gods, end of the world, and most importantly, Jennifer Lawrence. Next one is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Um, a title I can't simply pronounce without singing it out. It has found its way to cinemas next year despite so many negative reviews of its first installment. On the positive side, this franchise can only get better. Last we have two childhood blockbusters of 90s, coming back to life. First one is Independence Day after 20 years, without Will Smith unfortunately, since he dies in between the two movies. And second one is Tarzab's, I mean, um, Tarzan, showcasing the story after the young man travels to England with Jaina and is forced to come back to his real home. Oh, and since Star Wars are coming out this Friday, here's a great storyline video to catch up on everything you need to know before seeing the new part this Friday. Now you know, you'll rarely hear me talking about sad things on our show as it'll always be about positivity. But today, today I must make an exception, as Playboy has released their last nude issue of the famous magazine featuring Christy Garrett as the last playmate, but still having Pamela Anderson on the cover. And damn, she looks hot. On other news, we have European Football Championship of 2016 draws and schedule announced on Saturday. I for one think the groups are pretty nice, easy as being B, with England being the favorite, but I'm really excited about groups D and F having Spain, Turkey and Portugal. All in all, I think this will be an absolute football madness, in a good way of course. Adding to the previously mentioned movie topic, Golden Globes have been announced, and as you might have guessed, you'll see pretty much all the movies released on both the big screen and TV networks. One of the biggest surprises creating quite a buzz though was the announcement of Martian, in the best motion picture of musical and comedy. What the f- Just as you thought Steve Jobs was the genius of 21st century, we have Elon Musk co-creating his third running company. Fourth huge one in, to in total, by the way. This one being a non-profit for AI research and creation. Since their research is free from financial obligations, they'll be able to focus on positive human impact and so far, they've already raised one billion dollars. What? If that wasn't enough, you should check out what people will be working on the research. Here are the three to name a few. Ilya Sutskever from Google, Greg Brockman from Stripe, and Peter Thiel, former CEO and co-founder of PayPal. On the other side of the coin, Forbes has written an article about Chinese billionaire Jia Yoding who is planning to build a $1 billion electric car factory near Las Vegas. Calling it the Far Day Future, one might see a slight resemblance between the two. Furthermore, brothers John and Hank Green, which you might know by YouTubers Conference VidCon, or Books, Paper, Towns, or Fault in Our Stars, ran a two-day straight annual charity livestream which they call Project for Awesome. It was organized for ninth time, raising close to 1.5 million dollars for various charity organizations, two of which were chosen by the brothers and others upvoted by people like you and me. Uh, they hosted many famous YouTubers throughout both days and had many contests and perks depending on how much you, you've contributed to the charity. It was definitely one of the best days to be a YouTuber and express 
anyone's support for any charity your heart feels close to. I highly suggest you check it out either this year or next one. Lastly, we have one of the biggest news this year or insert period here. It is, of course, the climate change agreement which was adopted in Paris over the weekend. Here are the few key points you might want to know about this important document. The agreement, which takes effect in 2020, has already received more than 180 submitted targets by their respective countries. Unlike the Kyoto Protocol, the last major climate deal agreed in 1997, the Paris Pact will not be a fully legally binding treaty. Um, in other words, there is no penalty for countries that miss their emissions targets. Ambitious objective of restraining the rise of temperatures to well below 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. So essentially we might see drastic reductions in usage of fossil fuels and changing into more sustainable energy. The deal requires countries to monitor, verify and report their greenhouse gas emissions using the same global system. So let's hope we won't see cheaters here and move into better future for us and for our kids. Alright, that's my time. My name is Alex and I hope you had as much time watching this episode as we had making it. Thank you all so much for the feedback we've received since our first episode and keep it coming as we promise to improve for your enjoyment. As always, like, comment and subscribe down below if you liked what you saw and I'm gonna leave you with the positive quote of the day and awesome guitar riffs connected to epicness of Friday. Bye!